Hello and good day to the next episode of Yosemite Valley Zoo. Today is Saturday. It is the 7th of uh, December and actually guys, I hope you have all seen the first episode of Koali Zoo already. If you haven't, please check that out. Um, if I remember, I'll put in the link now uh, to the top right so you can click that one. Um, Silverette, the lady designer and the wonderful N7, also known as Mike Sheets. We started finally our collaboration and I think this is something people have been waiting for quite a long time. That's also why I'm just um, mentioning this here. It will be my turn in the fourth episode, so quite a bit of time will go in until I have my hooves on that one. Um, so yeah, until then, we still have to go on with the wonderful project I have to offer you. And today we are in Yosemite Valley Zoo. It's Saturday and that means usually there is an animal episode. However, as you have seen from the title and as you have seen from the thumbnail, hopefully, I'm still not sure how I will do this, um, it's not directly an animal. It is kind of preparation for some animal, if at all, uh, because I think that the way I did it here will never, never be working. But um, due to the wonderful comments you gave uh, me in the last episode, and again, it is pretty awesome that you guys continue giving that many comments. It is super awesome and I will have a question of the day for you today as well. And that is, what is your favorite winter activity? Um, because I, I, I feel like it's, it's now getting a lot more cozy and a lot more winter mood and I really want to know what is your favorite winter activity. That would be awesome to know. Um, but back to, back to the build. Today I'm going to build a some kind of presentation area, if you will, or education area, I should say. Um, this will be uh, a very classy uh, thing that you do see quite often, not in not in zoos, but most likely in these kind of wildlife parks, um, where they have uh, open areas for uh, birds to fly by or kind of present the animals you have there. Sometimes they have a deer or like a reindeer uh, getting over, so you can um, basically uh, see the ani animal up close. Um, feed it and you know these kind of things and this is also why I put a staff room in the back here so to pretend at least there is some kind of facility connected to this build because I wanted to make this area really also functional so that there are staff members going to go in here I put the, the guest um, gate just in front of it because the staff members are using it certainly and uh, yeah well then I had an idea <laughs> oh god like I had an idea it's it's it, if the sentence is starting this way, it potentially is not a good thing, but I had an idea that I wanted to make custom cobble. Uh, well, it turned out to look great in the end, but let me tell you, that was that was potentially one of the most nasty things I've done in Planet Zoo yet. It is really... Don't, don't get me wrong, it looks good, and I, I would have done this again, you know, also knowing what it was, but holy heck, that was... Uh, quite a struggle to get this all done. Um, you can see I'm, I'm just preparing the patch over here, but honestly, to make it look natural, I didn't want to have it completely plain. Um, so that's why I had this uh, tilt in here and uh, the little, you know, the, the terrain is actually um, very much hilly over here. So it's, it's not totally flat. And that leads me to, yeah, the, the problems I had and uh, I needed to move this all up and down. I made this kind of a nature path, as you can see. So I connected this uh, down here so that the people can actually walk up. But I wanted to make this area really feel like these um, little show areas, if you will, but show not in terms of uh, bad animal treatment, more likely, you know, for example, for birds. If you if you've ever been to a um, wildlife park like that, it's, it's pretty common that you have these areas where then there is a uh, zookeeper or like a trainer, I should say, um, in this area who is then kind of... Uh, having some food, uh, maybe some rats or mice or whatever for, for the eagles. And then they have this, this kind of little uh, blowpipe in their, uh, in their mouth and just um, make this noise. So uh, the next second, um, you can you can already see the the eagle or the condor or whatever well condor potentially not but <laughs> um, the big birds um, coming fly by and landing in this area so you can actually see them um, so they're basically living free in these kind of conservation areas um, and you don't really have the chance to see them that often this is why they installed this kind of uh, little treatment for them it's kind of cool because it's somewhat of an enrichment item so to say for the animals because they have this training aspect of, of being really trained to the signal um, they know that they will get food um, but uh, for those of these parks that I know they don't like do this um, 
like regularly um, because they w don't want the animals to rely on that, you know, uh, because if you do this uh, always the same time, always the same day, always, you know what I mean, uh, the animals do obviously know that and they will basically stop going for food themselves and, and just wait until they get their food and this is not the idea behind this because at a certain point you want to release them back into the wild and this is why they usually do it in a way um, totally random. So these areas are not like, yes, this is planned, but sometimes they change the animals, sometimes they, they change the times a little bit. And um, for the humans, it's kind of okay. You have different times every week. You can look them up in, in the little flyer of your zoo or whatever. That's totally fine. And then you just go there, sit, sit down and enjoy the show. Um, while the animals don't know that it is going to happen. Yeah, I uh, put down some of the uh, lock pieces over here, but uh, don't worry, we are ending up using different pieces. I wanted to create the area where you can sit down, like almost like in an, in an open amphitheater. Uh, but uh, I, yeah, I ended up doing it a little bit differently though because it it just never looked right and also I totally went off scale here. Uh, I didn't check the scale and uh, at a certain point in, in, in this episode you will see I am going to check the scale and then I was just realizing oh my god that was just all way too big um, because Planko and Plan Zoo and Planet games in general. So I, I used these locks over here which I thought hey they, they are to totally fine. They are super awesome, you know, people can sit down on that, but, you know, looking back at my footage now, you can actually see already that these things are way too big. Um, I just felt they look good, but they didn't. Um, as soon as you put that into context, it, it almost immediately starts to look weird. I, I, I still don't know really why I always forget to put someone in. It's, it's almost like really since we do not have the archer anymore, which was really the having the archer in Planet Coaster was the first thing you ever did for a building. It's the first thing you did is put down the archer to have a reference. I really don't know why I do not do this. Like in the last couple of episodes, I always remember to put a staff member over here. But um, yeah, in the past couple of days, I tend to forget about that. Yeah, then we have another um, drainage uh, thing over here where uh, the rain is, is being... Uh, kind of collect it if it's if it's uh, tumbling down too much and since it's tilted we don't want this to run all across our uh, bigger plaza there so I'm yeah that's the reason why now I needed to make this little podest uh, thing in the middle where the actual uh, show is taking place I don't want to call it show though but the actual action I should I should say um, and yeah I needed to somehow kind of uh, make this look nice uh, while I wanted to use the same pieces and not make it like too repetitive and I feel like the, the solution we had in the end is pretty good. Um, I really would highly recommend you guys to check out the um, enrichment items. You can use a lot of these items also as building pieces and you can manipulate them in many, many ways that they look totally nice as um, yeah actual building pieces because as long as they are not in the context of a habitat, they still work super fine as, as um, items that can be pretended as you can see I'm, I'm using that over here to kind of create a little um, preparation station where they can prepare the food and for the birds that come fly by and I wanted to give this little trough here so that they don't have it on a, on a kind of a stone plane or a stone plate or whatever so I just wanted to make sure that this is and then yeah all of a sudden I, I remembered to put someone in and you can see I I totally went off scale here so I I started to make this all look a lot more realistic and yeah kind of fitting into the context i have to say guys uh, for those of you who came up with these ideas or a few people in in the comments that uh, came up with the idea of making this kind of uh, education area it was almost like a little of a petting zoo but i'm not the biggest fan of a petting zoo anyways um but i found the idea interesting to have kind of uh, this little this little training area you know where you have the animals and you can actually um really imagine that they could also not only have the birds but they can also uh, take the the pronghorns over here they can maybe even have a bison here and just um show that to the people let them learn about them make a little bit of an education um lesson if you will and then uh, so also to get money from the people I feel almost like this is a this is a kind of very nice thing you have in zoos and uh, a zoo focusing on on conservation uh, should definitely have something like that. So I'm I'm yeah I'm really happy that we did this. Yeah, here you can see I'm preparing this uh, little landing platform or land. It's not really a platform. It's it's more likely to be. Um, a landing area, a landing lock, <laughs> if you will. So yeah, I was I was testing a few things here and there, um, finding out about some pieces that I've never used before, 
and I just wanted to make sure that this area looks believably enough for the birds to fly by. And then I just figured, okay, no bird in this world would be able to uh, sit on this weirdly way too wide and way too thick lock. So I ended up using the smaller one. And yeah, talking of smaller ones, I am using the smallest uh, possible lock, which is not way too thin. I, I think it's the second smallest lock we have in the game um, as kind of the seating um, locks over here. I did want to make this a very um, natural feel and I didn't want to make it um, crowded with benches and stuff so people wouldn't use it anyway so uh, there is no no real reason for me to make actual seating things because as long as we don't have these kind of education education places in, in the game at all uh, it makes no sense so it is all cosmetic if you will. At a certain point if we do have for example uh, free flying birds I could imagine that we are taking this habitat over here and we're trying to make this like a fake uh, habitat which I don't even know if this will be possible at all. Um, there you can see I also put this little uh, raised up feeding um, it's, it's kind of a feeding post or whatever in the wall because you could actually uh, pretend this is kind of prey what they're going to hunt for and then they would come come just rock it down and take this from from this uh, hanging rope um, and just fly over the heads of the people that would be pretty cool show element and uh, I, I figured that would be nice to have it over there yeah I can see I'm I'm just trying to just hide away all these little nubsies from the um, from the path I really would love to have natural path without the boundaries and stuff and yeah then I was searching for a, for a bird, uh, potentially eventually <laughs> having a bird in here, but we don't even have a bird statue or whatever that could be used um, in a in a nice way. And there's also no way in in making a statue that uh, fits this area nice enough um, in in terms of size. It's just not doable. It's simply not doable. Uh, yeah, I was also trying to get some lights in, but no, I just ended up with having no lights in here. I just put some. Um, Iron bars on or iron elements on the end of uh, these things to just make sure it looks kind of nice and yeah That's almost it about this area in general like I I was still trying to find uh, some pieces We can put here and there to fill in the, the still open gaps uh, Just because there were some elements from the path left which which looked a bit weird But here you can see this is almost like the final version how it looks I was just putting down some more bench elements uh, to make sure that it looks nice and yes, obviously if people go there uh, they will sink in a little bit um, Which is down to the fact that I I did not rotate every single freaking uh, Cobble piece there because that would have been just way too much But yeah, so I'm filling in now the the rest with uh, foliage and there's a good reason I'm showing this to you in a little bit of a real-time part um, at the end so again no cinematics because it's way too hard again to show that in cinematics it's I don't know it just feels better you have to tell me in the comments down below please are you happy with the real-time part in the end or do you want cinematics um, or both or whatever because I, I almost feel like it's nearly impossible to uh, make this whole thing like completely with uh, cinematics just because it's so it, especially this area is like so cramped but in a good way um, that you know the views and stuff are kind of blocked too often in a cinematic as that you can really tell what is what is in there and what not you really it's all about the it's all about the experience of that area that makes this feel good but yeah so what i'm doing over here is basically i have to say i loved what i was doing here because it's so easy yet looking very nice i was basically just making this field ready behind here uh, behind the education area so to hide the education building as good as possible i didn't want to completely hide this in a big building i wanted to make it feel as natural as possible and uh, yeah therefore i just needed to put in some elements here uh to give it the context i figured then there is some some kind of forest lush forest missing in the back here so i was just trying to get some more trees in to make sure that it looks nice i was moving them a little bit so you can still have the um, mountain peak in the, in the background still in your sight if you go this way and I figured okay uh, this little little incline over here uh, was a bit too heavy so I decided to take that uh, custom bridge I made or a custom stair and use that over here as well and again yes people will sink in a little bit but I feel almost like it's it's way better to have them uh, to have them sink in a tiny bit rather than just having this very steep incline which is totally unrealistic and also from the looks of it looks totally not doable so yeah i ended up doing this rather than uh, 
kind of getting away with this incline, which technically works in the game, but realistically wouldn't. And yeah, I just didn't want to build another fence or whatever. I just wanted to make this look natural enough. I just put some uh, bushes down, uh, some more kind of foliage, put some rocks here and there. And that's almost about it. Like this area is kind of finished the way it is. I, I did want to make it look very much uh, natural as much as I can, but still look nice indeed. Now let's, let's have a look in the real time part. All right, here we go. This is the real time part. And as I said, this is, um, yeah, it's very hard to distinguish um, how this looks in here. You know, if I would do like a cinematic and you would just kind of move from over here, it is so cluttered, you cannot really see what's going on. And it is almost like vanishes uh, in front of that gate. So you would have to find like a, like a real nice um, area to kind of cover this, and yeah, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be hard to actually make a nice photo for a thumbnail, anyways. But uh, hopefully, I'm going to succeed. Yeah, this is the area how it looks at the end. I am certainly very happy with how it turned out because um, also the placement of the trees was kind of. Uh, Actually, it was planned the way it is because you have to keep it open. If if these eagles or the, the birds just fly in, they would kind of search for the way they come in. So one could go like this and then just go down here. Oops, okay, I didn't land properly. Um, so that would be here. When it starts off, you know, it, it kind of goes here. And I wanted to go it over the people, you know, naturally just go over the persons that go here. So it would just fly out here. Um, then it also has the chance to come over these um, tortoise habitats, you know, from over here, just go down. And then there is this little open spot here to come and then just go and land over here and just also come back again or up here. So that's kind of the idea. Um, and obviously it can also come uh, across that building from this side and just go all the way up. Um, that would be natural. So uh, if you also take into consideration where the animals would come from and how they would fly, uh, I hope that this is almost like the, the best thing we have. Yeah, if we look a bit more into it, you can see that's the kind of food preparation area over here. I was tempted to have some food in, um, but you know, actually I need to be mice or whatever. So we only have these uh, uh, Indian market pieces and I didn't want to throw them in because obviously since there is no show or whatever going on right now, uh, potentially there is no room for that anyway. So yeah, that's, that's why it looks the way it is. It is. Um, also, I feel like it's a cool idea to have it in this open area with the uh, people sitting over there because uh, it drags the attention to the people over here. You know, we have the playground, so it's kind of a very crowded area. I like the view from over here with the peaks and uh, with the with the mountain there. We still have to do something about this mountain though. It looks absolutely utter shit. Um, yeah, I like this little path then here leading up um, to the backside of this building. Uh, this, I think, if you come from over here, the stair makes total sense. You can now really um, see how it kind of meanders up. Oops, oh my god, what just what just happened here with my mouse? Uh, my mouse wheel is actually a bit broken, so if I if I rotate it, sometimes it's just rotating 10 times instead of once. Um, it t totally makes sense with the stairs, you know, because it, it, it would be way too steep, and now as we have the stairs, it looks so much more natural and so much more realistic. And as I said to the left-hand side, it looks all natural. It's, it's nothing... It doesn't look too man-made, you know? It kind of... I love it. I love how it looks. Okay, so last thing before I lose my voice, by the way. Right, just wait a second. All right, here we go. I hope I can just recover the voice for a second. Uh, it's early on. My voice is not yet awake. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's actually hidden away pretty well. Um, and uh, yeah, honestly, that's all about this area so far. Now, if we have the aerial view, this is how it turned out. And I feel like, you know, if we consider what has been two episodes ago, where this was like basically an empty area, I really like how this turned out. So we have a lot of uh, different path elements going together. We have um, the possibility to go. Actually, we have in this area, let, let alone, we have one, two, three, four, five, six species. And we also have a, technically a, f a seventh one, uh, well, the sixth one here, um, eight one. I did, I, just counted and totally forgot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not the seventh. It would be the seventh if if you would be totally right about that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Make sure to answer the question of the day. What is your favorite winter activity? And also make sure to give me some feedback on this area. Uh, what kind of uh, birds do you think would be potentially uh, be usable over here? And um, yeah, I hope that you guys also did watch Koali. If you didn't, do it now. So see you in the next one, guys. Have a good one and bye. 
Alrighty guys, thank you for watching this video, I really do appreciate that. As always, uh, make sure to check out also my social media channels, you can find me everywhere under at RudyRedCamel. Also, big thanks to the crew, uh, you can see it on the left hand side right now. And as always, if you want to see more, you click that card on the top right. And if you want to stick around because you like the stuff you've just saw, you just saw, whatever, you know what I mean, just uh, click that sub button which is to the bottom right of the screen right now. But everything else I can say is have a great time and see you next time. Bye guys.